All right, if I sound a little tired, I apologize. I just got done solo filesing the uh, Spire of the Watcher dungeon. <clears throat> and I want to talk about this build I, I uh, created because it actually worked out very well and could probably help a lot of other people out there. And I, I didn't use, you know, I didn't use Sun Bracers. I didn't use uh, Starfire Protocol. It's an exotic you never would have expected to have used up until now since the, it just got buffed in this season. That's actually going to be the Sanguine Alchemy. It is very good now, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. So, without further ado, let's just get started, shall we? So let's go over Sanguine Alchemy real quick. So, what this does now is, uh, when standing in a rift, a bonus... Uh, I gain a bonus to weapons with a damage type matching my subclass. So it's going to be a solar subclass, so my solar weapons were, are going to do, I believe, a 17% uh, damage increase while standing in a rift. And of course, the original, uh, the other trait says, weapon final blows while standing in any rift, pause the rift's cooldown, uh, extending the dur duration. This has not changed from, uh, since it was last changed, whenever it was a long time ago. So, uh, let's just go over the mods here real quick. It's a bit all over the place, so I'll explain uh, what everything is. So, I have a harmonic siphon and two heavy ammo finders. I originally had three heavy ammo finders, but uh, I wanted to create orbs, so I put on a harmonic siphon. I have a harmonic loader, so I can reload faster, and then an impact induction and melee kickstart. I have three harmonic reserves. This can be whatever reserves you want. But you probably want to go with harmonic since you're, it, you're going to be matching everything with your weapons. Uh, a solar scavenger, elemental charge, so it can become charged with picking up our solar sprite or fire sprite. And then stacks on stacks, obviously, to get another charge. Outreach, utility kickstart, and bomber. That is the mods for the subclass. I'm going to be using incinerator snap, healing grenade, touch of flame. Icarus Dash is Empyrean to increase uh, the duration of Restoration and Radiant. Torches so I can uh, become Radiant. Searing so that way when I uh, defeat Scorched Targets I get melee energy. And then Tempering so that way my Silver Weapons can create a Fire Sprite. And also have the increased uh, recovery for a short duration. So the weapons of choice I chose for the dungeon it's a it's a bunch of things it's a lot so first thing is a thing that never changed in my arsenal it was the riptide with uh lead from golden vorpal this is the role i have charge time mask work i know it's not the best but it's what i got i got liquid coils on it arrowhead break lead from gold vorpal and then obviously i'm gonna be i had on the callus mini tool with threat detector and incandescent and then I also use the Teraba because uh, it's just very good at dealing with the first boss's eyes. And then for my heavies, I use the Sleeper Simulant on Perseus, the final boss. And I had got used the new uh, Raid Linear Fusion Rifle, Briar's Contempt, with Reconstruction and Surrounded. I would want to have enhanced surrounded but it's only level 10 so I couldn't do that at uh, this point in time and then I did choose do a boss pick originally but then I chose backup back so I can unload more damage and yeah that's basically the gist of this loadout so let's see some gameplay so here is the basic rundown of how everything really melded together so I use my heal I also use my healing grenade and then I uh, use my melee to extend it and then I use my solar weapon to extend it even more. That's the basic gist of the neutral game. And then when you need that, that little bit of damage increase and healing, in case you don't have like your uh, grenade or you run run out on their timer or whatever, you pop your rift, you get that 17% damage increase. And then as long as you're in it, as long as you're in the rift, you basically have healing and damage. So it's very, very good at that. I'm pretty sure it does stack with the... Uh, empowering rift but i i knew it only stacked with rifts i didn't know if it actually like worked with the wells 
and I'm happy to say it does work with these damage number. I did uh, some testing after I did the flawless run, and here are the numbers that I come up with. So as you can see, it does stack with it. I had no idea at the time, so uh, it was very much a luck, of, luck in the draw. Uh, so yeah, that's the basic rundown uh, of the build. The very simple rotation. Use a healing grenade, use your melee, and then get kills with your uh, solar weapons to obviously keep the restoration and radiant up. And then for damage, obviously you have your linears that are matching to your subclass, and so you pop up well and you have that 37% increase in damage and works out very well. Now I this is only a solar build. Honestly, I kind of want to see what it, what it can do with uh, Void and Arc and all the other subclasses. But for now, uh, this is where I'm gonna, gonna leave it for now. I'm definitely coming back. This is exotic though. This was a lot of this build was a lot of fun to do use in the dungeon, and probably I might use it in the future dungeon as well. I don't know yet, but uh, that's all for me. Rest of the gameplay is gonna be some strike gameplay, uh, and then. Uh, like half of it's gonna be strike gameplay and then whatever's left i'm gonna show the final boss kill and just see the absolute excitement in my vo uh, voice when i finally defeated the final boss just be warned i might be cursing a lot i apologize but i was very ha happy to get it done so as always i'll see you guys in the next one Plenty of Arctrician. Got well. Here we go. This should be final.
Yes! Finally! Fucking go! This was a clever incision by the witness. A multi-front attack. Sabotages. Give me that fucking triumph. Where is it at? No. The fuck is it? Boom. Boom. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's go. Ah, yes, bro. Fuck yeah. Alright. I'm six out of seven now. Ah. Uh. GG's. See you in the next one.